Hey, my name is Marcus Burton, Director of Product Development with CWMP. In this session, I want to talk about WEP, also known as Wired Equivalent Privacy. Uh, WEP was introduced to Wi-Fi way back in the day, uh, you know, several years back by now, and since then has been proven to be pretty ineffective as a security mechanism. Uh, we don't recommend using it really ever. Uh, there's, there's no good reason to use it today. Um, but I do want to just briefly talk about uh, how it works, uh, how the, what are the different options for WEP, and then uh, also talk about some of the weaknesses of WEP. Uh, so let's jump into that. Uh, there are two, two basic implementations of WEP, uh, the 64-bit mode and the 128-bit mode. You often sometimes see these referred to as a 40-bit mode and a 104-bit WEP, uh, and that just depends on how you're breaking down the bits. Uh, so, so both modes, 64 and 128-bit, use a 24-bit initialization vector, uh, also known as an IV. But in each of these, there's a different key strength or key length. Uh, so in 64-bit web, you have a 40-bit key. Uh, of course, we all know that five ASCII characters, uh, or each ASCII character is comprised of eight bits. So to, to make 40 bits, if you're going to use ASCII, you only need five characters. Or you can use 10 hex characters. The same goes down here with 128-bit web. You have a 104-bit key, which is comprised of either 13 ASCII characters or 26 hex characters. So you'll see different implementations that allow you to either type in the ASCII, ASCII passphrase, basically, or if you want to type in 26 hex characters, you'll see it different ways. So in both of these options, uh, this 24-bit IV is used. And I want to talk just briefly about that IV. It's actually used in the uh, RC4 encryption process. And cryptographically speaking, a 24-bit IV is pretty weak. Um, so, so that's this topic right here, the weak IV. Since it's used in, in both the same, and 24 bits is pretty weak, uh, it actually makes it pretty easy for attackers to... Uh, to decrypt or to basically to recover the encryption key. <laughs> the funny thing about this is that the IV is sent in clear text, which makes it far easier uh, for, for attackers to recover the actual key based on the rotating 24-bit IV. So 24 bits is, uh, you know, it only gives you uh, like 17 million or something like that different options, or it's 2 to the 24th power. So after a certain number of frames, you're going to begin reusing uh, these IVs, which they call them interesting IVs, because once they begin to be reused, it makes recovery of this key when you're cracking web networks pretty easy. Um, so just a quick point here about the difference between 64 and 128-bit web is that even though there's actually some a little bit better strength here with 104 bits instead of just 40, it's actually not much better. Uh, there's a little bit better cryptographic strength, but but the real flaws with WEP come out regardless of whether you use 64 or 128 bits in the key. Um, so, so, you know, if you have to use WEP, use 128-bit, but even that is not going to save you a whole lot. There's also, I think you'll sometimes see 156-bit WEP, uh, which is basically the same, the same iteration. It's just a little bit stronger, uh, stronger key, but it doesn't really add much strength to that either. So, since these, uh, this, this ASCII uh, web phrase or the hex uh, web key is entered directly on each device, uh, and the way that it works with web, these are actually static keys, so they don't rotate, they're not dynamic, they don't change. Uh, so, so basically, once you've configured this device, any attacker would have as long as they want to come in and, uh, and basically to recover the, the key based on recovering recovering web encrypted traffic and then running it through whatever tool it is that they're using to crack the encryption. And then finally, I want to point out the weak ICV. Uh, this is an integrity check value. It's basically a way of ensuring that uh, the, the message wasn't changed in transit. Um, it, it's a pretty weak ICV. It's only 32-bit CRC. Um, so it, it's fairly weak cryptographically speaking. It's easy for uh, bit flipping attacks or other tampering attacks to occur with such a weak, uh, weak integrity. So those are some of the 
significant problems with web, uh, some of the ones that stand out the most. Static keys, a clear text, and weak IV, and a weak ICV. So again, this has been WEP Wired Equivalent Privacy, addressing some of the weaknesses and some of the functionalities of WEP. Again, my name is Marcus Burton. Please visit cwmp.com for, for more information. Thanks.